<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Love Bohemian Muse. Welcome to my new IGTV series for my solo exhibition, Renegade Renaissance. So for everyone that doesn't know me, hello and welcome um, to my Instagram page. And even though this will probably also be on YouTube, welcome to all the different channels. Uh, my name is Love Bohemian Muse. I am a Ghanaian, uh, American artists here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I am creating this series um, sort of as a, tourist, a storytelling series uh, to talk about my newest body of work, Rebel, uh, which is currently showing at my first solo exhibition, Renegade Renaissance. So Rebel is a series I have been working on for over two and a half years. It is probably the largest body of work that I've done to date. I have a total of 42 some pieces. Um, and the whole series was really a sort of an experiment for myself of what it's like to create work that goes against your creative instinct. Um, so as an artist, I feel like it's very easy to do sort of your traditional work that you always do. And I believe as artists and as human beings, you want to evolve for things to be better, to be newer. And so I didn't want to get used to only one way of working, specifically with my abstract paintings. So I decided to create a body of work that sort of forces me to remove myself from that so I could kind of grow in a different way. So this series is basically going to be me talking about certain pieces uh, within the exhibition that sort of tell that story of how we start off from a place of um, being very colorful and uh, moving towards a direction that uh, work becomes a lot more muted. And now when I say muted, it's because it becomes a little bit more monochrome with the use of the white. And I'll go into detail with that throughout the series. Um, we'll probably have a total of about seven episodes. So this is the first one. Um, and hopefully I'll be releasing these like every couple of days and a couple episodes per week, at least towards the end of the exhibition, which ends on September the 5th. So today, the piece that I'm going to talk about is Break Faith. I wanted to start off with Break Faith because Break Faith, uh, along with possibly two other pieces, um, were created during a time of, um, well, currently in our 2020, sort of fiasco that we're having. <laughs> um, but I, the reason why I wanted to specifically talk about this piece is because uh, it was created mainly in anger. Um, the week I started creating Break Faith was a hard week for me. I would say specifically, probably as an artist. And as an artist, as we all know, you kind of face all types of rejection. <laughs> it's part of the job. <laughs> Could be part of any job, really. But I feel like with artists, you definitely, and this is arts of all kinds, dancing, writing, acting, filming, whatever. Rejection just comes with the territory. And it could either make you a stronger writer or a stronger dancer, depending on how determined you are, or it could make you feel defeated. And there are moments where I don't let the rejection hit me. And then there are moments where it just, you just feel really, really defeated. And so the day that I came into work on um, Break Faith, it was very, very angry because I had, um, it was the week of rejections. It was like three rejections in a row, which was the worst. It was a rejection that I didn't get a grant. It was a rejection that I didn't get into a program that I really wanted to get into. It was a rejection to not getting another program or show. It was just, and also, um, I had to push back this exhibition, which originally was supposed to be in April in lieu of the current pandemic. So I was already feeling all types of ways. And so it was a hard week. And so I traditionally work with music. Um, music is one of the devising tools that help me with the way my mood is when I paint. And so I put on that particular day, this rock mix that I have, whichever I'm 
wanting to feel a little rebellious or I want to feel angry and I need something else to translate those emotions, I'll put on rock music. So at the start of making Break Faith, I started putting in, um, playing the rock music and then started layering the texture and you know layering the colors back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And usually when I create any of these bodies of work, it starts off with sort of the one layer of foundation and then you have color and then another layer and so on and so forth. Um, but then the next day when I returned to work on it again, I was feeling slightly better, but still moody. Um, I continued to work on the piece. And as I continued working on it, I realized the piece of the work itself uh, started making me feel a little bit lighter. And I think it was because it sort of translated into waves and ocean. And I uh, definitely love water and uh, need to be by water every once in a while because um, it helps sort of maintain and zen me out. Um, so it translated water, it just translated the clouds. It just had this sort of iridescent feeling to it. Um, and it couldn't help that subconsciously, it was also the week I was supposed to go to Maui and had to cancel my trip <laughs> due to the pandemic. So there could be layers of obviously my subconscious that I might have been pouring into this um, piece, but it just came out so joyful. And I find it to be very remarkable because of the way of how that moved me. And every time I look at it, it's actually one of my most favorite pieces in the show. Um, in fact, since it's my favorite piece, it's the only one out of two particularly that I'm doing prints of. And I never do prints of my work, I, never. So um, I'm doing a special limited edition print of Break Faith in its full size on this beautiful watercolor paper um, that uh, is also a celebration Renegade get reticence that anyone can purchase at my store. Um, so yeah, Break Faith is definitely um, a piece that feels very personal to me in this uh, series. And I thought I'd share that story with you. For our next episode, I will be picking on um, a few other pieces that have um, a real moment of shifting during this time of creating this whole work. And uh, yeah, please feel free after you've watched this episode if you have any questions or comments um, and let me know what you think. Um, I will definitely be considering any questions that people add on into the next pieces of um, episodes or I'll come on my gram and answer questions during the story. But thank you for joining me so far and look for our next episode coming up. Um, hopefully next week. And it will be about the peace colony, which is a very unique story to that as well. Thank you.